Hey, what's up everyone? It's Atlantis, and we have some exciting news this week. Solid Age posted on the Wayfinder Discord that the next patch is scheduled to go live tomorrow, October 10th at 12 p.m. Central Time. There are a ton of bug fixes included in this patch, and we'll take a quick look at just a few. This video will be on the shorter side, as I'll be covering the new events and quests in more detail later this week. Before we jump into the upcoming patch, I did want to go over a really helpful trick that some of you may already know. But for those who don't, this will come in really helpful for doing any jumping to climb rocks, walls, or higher areas in general. I do want to shout out to Tap and Chub for this info, and it basically comes down to making sure to hold your jump key for higher vertical jumps. If you spam your jump key back to back as fast as possible, you are actually cutting your airtime short, which could be reasons why you struggle to jump up to some cliffs, hills, or walls. You want to make sure to hold your jump key and then jump again at the top of the release to get the highest amount of airtime. In a quick comparison, you can see the difference between jumps and how holding allows you to actually make it up a wall without needing to climb, while spamming short jumps prevents you from even getting up the wall. I found this extremely helpful and was excited to get you this quick tip. Make sure to give it a try. And now for the upcoming patch. We'll be getting our hands on the very first live event called Call of the Void, in which Omen and Wolf need our help. It looks like we'll be traveling through the highlands in search of strange rifts and unraveling secrets. We're also getting two new quests called the Final Score and Harbingers of Chaos. The Harbingers of Chaos looks to have us battle the Talon of Pyre in the Highlands, while the Final Score unlocks the Fearsome Blood Boar, a weapon that has been constructed in secret within the mines and is prepared to stop Wayfinders in their tracks. This looks to be a new hunt. We're also getting access to a new weapon, the two-handed breaker called Juggernaut. Don't forget that an exclusive Gloom Dagger skin is available for completing the live event. Next, we're going to take a look at many bug fixes coming with tomorrow's patch. Talon of Pyre will spawn every 2 hours, down from every 4 hours. There is a fix in place for Silo's Rank 3 Firebomb causing server crashes. Silo's Rank 2 Oil Bomb should now function correctly. Silo's Strategic Charge Affinity Perk should now increase ultimate charge gain. They've also fixed an issue with Silo's Proto Clone Rank 2 upgrade not working with Rune Cannons. They've fixed the issue causing Riven to be instantly killed in certain parts of the arena. They've also fixed an issue causing Mastery perks to be deactivated after traveling. Heroic Kairos Arcane Focus staying on the enemy indefinitely should now be fixed as well. One of the changes coming is to the Unfiltered Dragonkin Blood Consumable, in which they've lowered the potency. There is a fix for the Toxic Imbuement Dot being permanently stuck on the player even after death. And the Toxic Imbuement Dot can no longer pierce invincibility. Players can no longer avoid Commander Creed's Enrage phase damage by standing in the corners of the arena. And the first will now teleport more as intended. Knight Small should no longer get stuck underground and not return to the arena. They've fixed an issue where the player would get stuck in a blocking state with two-handed weapons. Trickster events should now deplete the intended amount of keys. And the Titan's Bane Molten Cleave should no longer abruptly end after jumping or dodging. Rush Echo should now decrease its cost when empowered by Echo Fusion, and the Reward Tower will display your current Battle Pass level in the Reward Tower. There are many more fixes included in this upcoming patch, so make sure to check out the official Wayfinder Discord or the patch notes when officially released. There will also be a community live stream at twitch.tv slash playwayfinder at 2pm central tomorrow, October 10th. Make sure to check that out if you can. As always, I enjoy bringing you the latest in Wayfinder news, updates, and guides, so make sure to subscribe to stay up to date. Keep an eye out for more videos this week, and see you in the next one.